Hey, Dave here with Saddleback Leather, and uh, <laughs> don't I look angelic? That's pretty cool. I just found that out. Look at that. So, uh, Dave here with Saddleback Leather, and today is the summer solstice. Today is June 21st. It is the first day of summer and the longest day of the year. And it just so happens to be my 50th birthday today. So, um, I have three super cool things to tell you. And I'm, I'm not kidding, guys, super cool. So, like, one is life-changing, and I'm not kidding about that. We're not exaggerating, like, hey, look at this new pencil holder or something. It's, um, it's life-changing. And then one is uh, company-changing, possibly. And then one is uh, just really super cool, okay? I've been wanting to do this thing since 2014. Just launched it today, okay? We have a few left. So, but check this out. Um, and here it is. It's real small. Doesn't cost hardly anything. And I'll show it to you in a second, okay? But let me let me tell you the other things. So that launch of that is one. That's the super cool thing. And then we have, um, uh, I'm dropping my smartphone. Like permanently. Like I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to a light phone. Okay, light phone is what apparently my brother did it. I talked to some customers that did it. They said life changing free again, engaging with kids, engaging with their spouse, reading books again, growing hobbies. I mean, their concentration is coming back. I mean, everything it's, it's, they say it's really, really amazing. So I'm doing, I'm dropping my smartphone as soon as I get my light phone case perfected. I don't have it perfected yet, but I'm working on it. I have an early prototype and it's really nice. And it's just like you put it in your pocket and you almost forget about it. It does basic calling, texting, uh, calculator, alarm, and uh, you can do MP3s on it. But, and I'll tell you, so I wrote all about it, and it's in the link below here uh, on our webpage, so you can look at my reasoning, my rationale, and how I'm getting rid of my smartphone because I'm so used to it. And I'm a really busy person. I've got a lot going, um, but I'm doing it, and it's I'm so excited about it. I was trying to do it before now, uh, I wanted today to be my first day without my smartphone, but I, I uh, couldn't get the, the uh, phone uh, ready and I need to be stay in contact with family and stuff. So, uh, and then the third thing is, I've got the third thing, I've got some designs that I've been working on. This is what, I, this may change Saddleback Leather. There's a, there's a series of designs that I'm working on that one of them, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, Never, and, and I've shown people and they say, oh, wow, that is amazing. Like seriously, like, wow, I've never seen anything like it. And I go, yeah, me neither. It's kind of weird. Like, what, what, it's so cool. How come we haven't seen anything? So I'm gonna be um, on a road trip, okay? And I'm gonna be highlighting several of those and also um, a few things that I've made um, that I think I've been wanting for a long time. A lot of people have been asking for for a long time and I've made them and I'm going to be showing, showing them to you on this trip. If you're not on social media, because I'll be highlighting a lot of these on social media, but if you're not on social media, then uh, Instagram, you know, Facebook will be regularly posting there, but also regularly posting on our website. So you can bookmark the page and then you can go there and you can just kind of follow along. Uh, if you, if you feel so inclined, um, and we'll just, I'll just be doing a little updates. And so get this, it's a big summer of road trips, okay? And so uh, we drove, we're here in Mexico now. I drove from um, Fort Worth to here to Leon, Guanajuato, uh, right by the factory here, right up to the factory. And it was 17 hours and it was glorious. It was a great trip. Um, not without troubles, a little bit, but pretty insignificant. And so we're here in Leon, and, and from here, we're gonna go on a trip to, a, to some countries that I don't know anyone who's ever even been there, been to them. I don't know anyone who speaks those languages, but we're gonna go on this trip. Um, oh my gosh, it's where screensavers first started, I think. It's amazing. And so we're going to show you, follow along with us on this trip. I'm going to be on this trip. I'm going to be showing you these new designs 
and um, we're gonna be posting just interesting things and maybe it'll give you an idea to go to. So um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. And then we, we, when we get back from Leon, we're gonna drive back up and we'll be back up uh, into July. So anyways, I wanted to share with you guys this, but let me show you this new design, okay? So, so I know it's not a big deal and some people are like, Dave, it's kind of stupid. Like you shouldn't do it, but you know what? I create things that I think are beautiful. So I, um, I was in off the coast of Kenya one time, right by Somalia, and there was this backgammon board and I, I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't play backgammon, but it's so cool, just the concept of it. So we made it and we didn't sell very many. We sold, you know, a lot of people who got it were like, wow. But uh, I made it because it was just beautiful. And so I saw this, this is, it's seriously, it's nothing really. But I love it. I mean, I love it. And I think when you get it, people are going to go, dude, that is really cool. Where'd you get it? That is, I've never seen anything like it. So, uh, drum roll. Here we go. It is a napkin holder. Look at that baby. It comes like this. Okay. We have some in stock right now. And it's just one piece of solid leather. So it'll last for a super long time, and then you put your silverware through it. Look at that. So I didn't have a paper, uh, I didn't have a cloth napkin, so I got a uh, washcloth. But you can put uh, nap cloth napkins, paper napkins in here. It comes like this. I know people are going to use it for like drumsticks and paintbrushes and hot tools and stuff like that too. I don't know what they're going to use it for. Uh, they may even use it like that. I don't know. But people are going to use it. But... I was, here's the story behind it. So I was in, uh, went to Nairobi to interview the greatest tent maker in the world. Actually, he ended up making our tents that we live in right now and in Fort Worth. And uh, so I went to go interview him and, and we had to leave. We were in Rwanda, so we, we flew it over to Kenya. So we had to leave. We had to be at the airport at like one o'clock in the morning. Um, the flight was at like three o'clock. We got in at five o'clock to Nairobi, 5.30. And I had like a hundred bucks with me and my you know, debit card, credit cards. So I go to, to go to the visa, to go get our visas that are 50 bucks a piece. And uh, that took up, and I only had a hundred bucks, but I thought my cards wouldn't work. So I thought, oh no. So I used up my last, all my money, all of it. I had only had a hundred dollars, but there were two of us, our old filmmaker, Joe, and myself. And Joe, if you're watching this, I miss you. And then, uh, I didn't have money to get to where we were going to go to interview. So I had to call this friend of mine, Matt Chansey, who lived in outside of Nairobi. And he, and we hadn't gone to sleep yet either, by the way. And so, uh, hey, you guys, I'm doing a video, Sella. And so, sorry, family's here. And so uh, we do this. So he sends someone to pick us up. He paid for it. We go interview, it was really cool. And then our flight was like 11.30 at night. So we went to dinner first. It was a really neat restaurant. And in there, I could hardly even concentrate on the food because they had this, they had that, okay? It was just sitting there. And I thought, oh, that is so cool. I have to have that. So I took pictures, did a little video of it. And then I didn't like the shape that it had, but I liked the concept of the, of the two holes. So, uh, so we made it, so that was 2014 or 15 when I finally made it. And then people were like, no, Dave, it's kind of insignificant. Like, oh, I don't care. So people have been, uh, not as excited about it as I have been. Uh, but you know what? I just decided, you know what? It's happening and I want it so bad and it's so beautiful and such, and sometimes little things bring great joy. And since today's my 50th birthday, I... I'm launching that sucker and nobody can stop me. Nobody. For years. No, Dave, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm doing it because you know what? Little things bring me joy. And so even driving down the, the, the down here, the Joshua Tree forests on the side of the road, the, there's some towering, steep mountains um, at, at hitting where you start at Monterey, coming up through Saltillo and, and up. And the cactus were blooming, the cacti, and you had... We went to this this little, this old stone town up in the high up in the Sierra Madres. It was like 45 degrees. Here it is June. 
I mean, it was, it's been a great trip, but you don't see that stuff skipping over the surface. So, um, so three things, uh, napkin holder, you can go get it right now. Um, we have a road trip that I'm, uh, super cool guys. I mean, really cool road trip. I'll be highlighting these new designs that I believe are going to change the face of Saddleback Leather Company. I believe it'll be like historic, like way down the road, really cool. And also I'm dumping my smartphone. There's a link to the, my writing on that and my rationale and all of the scientific studies and stuff that I've read and, and listened to and all my thoughts on it and why I think if you're like me, you should do it. And a lot of people go, oh, no, I'm not like you. I don't have a problem with my smartphone. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I use it too much. It's too helpful. Um, the benefits for me, people like me far outweigh the conveniences that come with the iPhone or the smartphone. So uh, go read that, go to our website, follow along, go to social media, Instagram, uh, like it, go to, if you want to follow us on YouTube, we'd appreciate that. Uh, hit the, the, the like button and then hit the little bell and that notifies you when we have a new video. Um, the, otherwise you may never see those. So um, anyway, this is gonna be a really great summer. We're very excited and uh, I hope you are too. And I know when you see what we're doing, you will be excited. So uh, talk to you later.